church.com and you let us know your prayer request <coughs> we will someone will contact you with faith-filled instructions within 24 to 48 hours because we believe that every answer is found in the word of God so we are going to stand agreement in agreement with you on that thing you are believing for and we're going to the word of God for that thing amen for those of you who are hosting watch parties, thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting the folks that are in your timeline. Those of you who are watching through a watch party, make sure you thank your host for hosting and interact with them. If share your prayer requests with them so that they can cover you. And, um, engage, the engagement is the way that you actually connect your heart to what is going what is going forth, what is happening. So make sure you, you engage this morning. Are you all ready this morning? Are you ready to get started? So every day we bring to you an inspiration. We bring a, a scripture from the word of God because the word of God is inspired by God. And then you get a motivation. You get 
encouragement. You get something about what that scripture was about to help you and motivate you to do the application. So then you get an application and the application is for you to do. You can, we have to not just hear the word, but also do the word. When we do the word, when we apply the word of God to our lives every day, we will live life a better way. We believe that. You apply, we apply the word of God today so that we can live life a better way. So you'll get an inspiration this morning. You'll get a motivation this morning. And I'll give you both of those. The application is fully up to you. So get ready. I am excited about today. I don't, oh, I am excited to share this. And I pray that you hear it. Um, I, I, I just pray that you hear what I'm going to share with you. I got to. I kind of got to set it up for you. Are you all ready? Are you ready to get started this morning? Instagram, are you ready? Callers, are you ready? Facebook, are you ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to try to calm down a little bit. I got to tell you, I don't know if you all have been really paying attention to what has been going on on this, um, on this, on this, at this time every morning. Every morning we have an 8 a.m. experience and Pastor Derek has been, oh my gosh, off the chain like crazy. Um, and it's been good. And and he has been, and I don't know if you realize this, but there he's been operating in the prophetic at least for the last, probably longer, but at least very clearly for the last couple of weeks. And there's a pattern that I, that I believe is developing. Um, but... I, I, I'm, I'm starting off with that because the inspiration that I want to share with you comes from, are you ready? It's from Matthew chapter 10, verse 41. It is Matthew chapter 10, verse 41. And it says, he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. I need you all to hear me and hear me clearly. It is no coincidence that we are in the month of October. It is uh, Pastor Appreciation Month. We are on the last Sunday of October where we at Amazing Church are valuing our visionary. Our visionary for the last two weeks, the visionary of this call that started back in March, and I meant to look up the date, that we have been going for what, eight, seven months, nine months, something like that, eight months, something. I don't know, my math isn't working right now. Um, every day, every day. And the only reason he is not here on Sundays is because he is preparing to teach the word of God. So my point is, he who receives a prophet's in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man. Thank you, March 16th. Thank you. We have been doing this since March 16th. And he has been here every single day. Unless there is something that has prevented him and he has made sure that someone is here for you to ensure that you get what God is wanting you to hear. He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Now let's break that down just a little bit. Because of where we are, this really wasn't a hard, this really wasn't a hard thing for me to go to God and say, hey, what, 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 what am I supposed to be talking about? I knew, I knew that this is what it was. It was just really about which scripture was I supposed to use? Well, <laughs> that it was hard to narrow it down, but this is the one that stood out. Let me, let me break that scripture down to you just a little bit. He who receives, he really, it says whoever, that means anybody saved, unsaved, Righteous, unrighteous, it doesn't matter. Anybody that receives a prophet 
in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. So let's look at the word receives. Because I, I love that. I like that word. I like receiving stuff. Um, receives is to take, accept, or to welcome. That means you're you're bringing it in. You're bringing it close. You're, you're not just leaving it. You're actually taking ownership of it or you're taking... You're, you're, you're taking hold. You're laying hold of it. Let's look at the word prophet. Most people think of prophet as in I'm foretelling the future. And while that is a piece of it, more commonly, um, a prophet is one who speaks, who speaks forth by inspiration of God. They are saying something that was inspired by God. They heard God and they said what they heard. It is one who declares the mind of God. As I said, sometimes that person speaks about future things, but more commonly, they speak what God is saying for a particular situation. So he who receives, the one who speaks forth by inspiration of God, or the one who declares the mind of God about a particular situation, receives that person's reward. Well, what is a reward? A reward is wages or salary or recompense and um, or what is what is owed or payment for uh, uh, the role or the work that is done. So, well, well, well and, and the same for if you're a righteous man, if you receive a righteous man, you're going to get the righteous man's reward. But what is that reward? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Matthew 12, 37 tells us that by your words, you will be justified and by your words, you will be condemned. Since it is the role of the prophet to speak the word of God, his or her reward is what he or she speaks. Let me say it again. The prophet's reward is their role, their, their job is to speak the, role, the, the word of God, to speak the mind of God, to speak what is inspired by God. And because that is their role, their reward is what he speaks. Well, Pastor Tanya, then how do I receive? This says he who receives a prophet, how do I receive a prophet? I'm so glad y'all, these are good questions y'all are asking. You receive a prophet, uh, receive, remember, is to take, to accept, to welcome. I want to give you two examples. I could give you more, but I, there are two that jump out at me. The first one is the widow woman in 1 Kings. And in 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 10 through something, I don't know exactly. This prophet, we know this prophet is Elijah. And Elijah um, is coming into an area. He, he, he meets this lady and he asks her to bring him some water. And then she's like, okay. And he asks her then, but also bring me a morsel of bread. In other words, he asks her for sustenance, something to keep him, something to feed him, something to help him go on. She did it. And even though she was a little hesitant to do it, she did it. And it resulted in an overflow of flour and oil. The very same thing she used to make the sustenance for the prophet, the, the very thing she used to receive the prophet or to care for the prophet or is the thing that overflowed in her life and that take, took care of her family for many days. The second example, this is another prophet, Elisha. The first one was Elijah. The second is Elisha. This is with the Shunammite woman. And um, this is in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 8. This woman, I love when you read this. Y'all should go back and read it. It says she was a notable woman. That means she didn't just have a little bit. She had a whole lot. She was a notable woman and she encounters Elisha and convinces him, hey, come have dinner with me and my husband. And he does. And every time he's in the area, he this is a Tanya version. Every time he's in the area, he goes back to her home and eats with she and her husband. And then one day she decides 
that she wants to make a place because she knows he's traveling. She wants to make a place for him to rest when he comes into town. She talks to her husband, which is appropriate, and her husband agreed. So she did just that. She makes a little room with a place for him to lay down, with a, with a, a lamp for him to read, with all of the things he needed to care for him. She provided sustenance in the meal every single time, but now she gives him a place to lay his head to rest so that he is not weary in his travels. So because of that, and because of her care for him, he says, what is it that I, he sends his servant and says, ask her what it is I can do for her. She says, I don't have a son. And in that time, not having a son, you were not looked, even though she was a noble woman, you weren't looked at as you, as the best. She says, I don't have a son. And his response is, by this time next year, <laughs> by this time next year, you will be embracing a son. Here's what I want to point out to you about both of those cases. In both of those cases, these women received they received the prof the way that they received the prophet was to sow into them. In the widow's case, Elijah asked for something and she provided it. In the Shunammite woman's case, she saw a need and she just filled it. So the question of how do I receive? Well, Matthew 621 tells us where your treasure is there your heart will be also. How do you know when you have actually received a prophet? When your heart is in it. When the things that you do, when the ways in which you serve, because I'm just telling you of these two, if you go back up to first King or second Kings chapter four, verse one, it talks about a widow woman who goes to Elisha to say, hey, this issue is going on. And the reason I'm talking, talking to you is because my husband served you. And I know that because he has sown into you, there is something that is there for me. So there are examples all over the Bible of how when people sow into the prophet and serve the prophet, the one who is speaking the word of God, they receive a blessing. You know when you have received when your heart is in it. So your motivation this morning, God has a plan for you. And he wants you to live your best life. And he brings people into your life to help you to do just that. But, there's a big but. If you do not receive them, you are not receiving him. Because I read to you verse 41, but verse 40 says, um, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And that he that receiveth me receives the one who sent me. So when you do not receive the ones that he sends to you, you are not receiving him, nor are you receiving what he has for you. Receiving is not a mental posture. It is a heart posture. Receiving is not a mental posture. It is not what you do in your head. It is a heart posture. So your motivation, God has a plan for you. He wants the very best for you. I am saying this to you because of where we are. I am saying this to you because I have heard for the past two weeks the things that Pastor Derek has been the things that he has been hearing from God and has been speaking to us. And I need you, I implore you to receive a prophet in the name of a prophet so that you can receive the prophet's reward. Okay, let's say you don't feel like he's a prophet. Fine, receive a righteous, the rest of that verse says, receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man and you will receive the righteous man's reward. Either way, you receive if you receive. I need you to receive. I need you to receive. 
There is more coming and I need you to have the right posture, be in the right position so that you can receive everything that God has for you. He wants you to live your best life. And the people that he is bringing into your life are going to help you to do that. But if you do not receive them, you are not receiving him and you will not receive what he has for you. He can speak all the word he wants over you, but if you don't receive it, then you will not receive it. So your application today, receive the prophet so that you can receive what they are speaking to you. Receive the prophet so that you can receive the reward. Amen. All right, y'all ready to pray, Father? I thank you so much. I give you glory, God. I thank you that you don't let us go ignorant to the enemy's devices. You don't allow him room to steal things from us. God, I thank you for getting our hearts and our postures in the right places and in the right spaces so that we are able to receive everything that you have for us. I thank you, Lord, that you don't do anything secretly. You don't do anything without first letting someone, your man or woman of God here in the earth know what you are doing. You reveal things and thought, God, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for all that you are. You are a magnificent and holy God. We know that you are getting ready to do something big, God, and we receive your bigness. We receive, we make space in our hearts. We make space in our minds. We make space in our homes. We make space on our jobs. We make space in our families for everything that you desire to pour into us everything that you desire to give to us for everything that you desire to do in us for everything that you desire for us to do that will flow through us to the people around us god we honor you this morning we give you glory and we magnify your name because you are god all by yourself you don't need any of us to do what you desire to do but god you utilize us so that there is order, so that there is a way, so that we can see your mode of your mode of operation. God, we honor you for who you are. We honor you that you are a magnificent and holy God. We honor you that you are King of Kings and that you are Lord of Lords. We thank you for what you are doing on this call. We thank you for what you are doing in this tribe. We thank you for the prayers being answered. We thank you for being the answer. We thank you that your word is going forth mightily. We thank you that there is nothing holding it back. We thank you, God, that our ears are prepared to receive and our hearts are prepared to receive. We thank you, God, that there is nothing in our hearts against our man and our woman of God so that, that blocks us from receiving from them. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to sow into their lives. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to do the things that they ask us to do so that we are able to receive what you desire to give us. God, we thank you. We thank you for the words. We thank you for speaking. We thank you for the direction. We thank you for the guidance. We thank you for all that you are, Lord. Father, forgive us when we haven't done what we were supposed to do. Forgive us when we have sinned against you because we didn't receive the man or woman of God that you have placed in our lives. God, we don't want to make that mistake again. And so, God, we thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for cleansing us. We thank you for covering us. We thank you, Lord, for showing us where we have faltered, God. And we thank you for giving us an opportunity to do better. God, we honor you this morning for who you are. We honor you for everything that you are doing. We started this call because of this pandemic. And God, while we want to be out of it, while we want things to get better and things to change, God, we honor you for the opportunity to come together every morning and pray and stand in agreement and make intercession for your people, for our country, for those who are sick and hurting. God, we honor you that your word is powerful and it will not return to you void. We honor you, God, that we can send your word and those who are sick shall be healed. God, we honor you that we can bring any and everything to you and you heal us all. We honor you, God, for the things that you are doing in our lives. 
We honor you for your faithfulness, oh God. We honor you for your goodness. We honor you, God, for what you are doing. And we are determined to fight this next three months just as we've been instructed to do. Thank you, Lord, for your direction. Thank you for your guidance. We receive our crowns, oh God. We thank you for what you are doing. We don't understand it all, but we are going to walk by faith and not by sight because we know that you have already made a way. You've made the way straight and we know, God, that you are about to do something big. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your bigness. We thank you for everything that you are doing. I lift up every family that is on this in this in this tribe and every person that is attached to them. I thank you, God, for everything that you are doing in their lives. I thank you for everything that you are doing on their jobs. I thank you for everything that you are doing in their families. I stand in agreement for every prayer request that has been put on this wall this morning. I stand in agreement. I attach my faith to theirs knowing that because our faith is together God that you are going to do what we are asking God we thank you this morning for the promises of your word we thank you for the men and women of God that you have placed in our lives to feed us your word and show us the way and that you are speaking to regularly that they can speak to us God we thank you and we receive it this morning we receive what you have for us we receive what you have for us. We receive what you have for us. We receive what you have for us. We receive what you have for us, God, and we give you glory and we honor you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. I know I was shorter than I usually am, but God said what he had to say. I did what I was supposed to do. Now you do what you are supposed to do. And that is receive the prophet so that you can receive what he is speaking to you. Do not, do not let what I am saying pass you by. I'm telling you, it is the word of God. And when you receive the prophet in the name of the prophet, you will receive the prophet's reward, not just this word that he's spoken, but all of the words that have come forth. See, sometimes we don't pay attention to the things that came forth before the big word. We don't pay attention to the little things. And it's the little things that build up to make the big things great. Go back and listen to some of the previous things that you've heard. Listen to some of the previous words. Listen to what your pastor has been saying all year long. It's gotten you this far, but really dial into it and make sure that you are receiving the prophet in the name of the prophet so that you can receive the prophet's reward. Callers, I thank you so much for being here with me this morning. I thank you for your faithfulness. I love you. I am honored that you were here. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. If you don't have a place to worship, you can worship with us at Amazing Church. We will be on YouTube and on Facebook at 930 and 1115. I look forward to seeing you there. Have a great one, callers. Instagram, Thank you for being here. Thank you for being so faithful. Thank you for interacting with me. Thank you. I love you. And I'm so glad and honored that you were here with me this morning. Go and receive the prophet. Be blessed. Facebook. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. I don't have anything extra. Make sure whatever your prophet is saying to you today and in the days to come, receive it. Receive it and receive them so that you can receive what they are saying to you. Be blessed. Join us 930 and 1115. I love you. Have a great Sunday.